Tonight, we're answering your questions about a controversial solar plant in Fort Mill, Silfab Solar. From rules on proximity to schools to the nature of the chemicals on site, WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker is working to verify these answers for folks tonight. So, Austin, where are you getting some of this information from? Yeah, so yesterday we got an exclusive look inside Silfab Solar and a one on one interview with the CEO, which is Treff McDonald, getting your questions answered. And tonight, we continue and verify. To answer these questions, we use these sources. Residents say they are fearful having a manufacturing plant next to Fort Mill schools. So the first question from residents, can a manufacturing plant be built near a school? COO Treff McDonald says there's misinformation on the timeline of events. We didn't locate next to a school. A school located next to where our desired and planned location was. We checked that claim using documents from York County. According to zoning reports, in 2017, Fort Mill schools purchased this plot of land. It's important to note, at the time, it was zoned as light industrial, so a school couldn't be built there. Years later, in December of 2022, Silfab Solar got the green light on their plot of land located next to Fort Mills. In March of 2023, a few months later, York County approves rezoning for Fort Mill schools land from light industrial to office institutional. So we can verify, yes, it can. And in this case, while Fort Mill schools purchased the land first, Silfab Solar's plans were approved before land was even zoned for schools. Are the chemicals planned to be used inside dangerous? Looking at two, saline and hydrofluoric acid. While residents say saline is highly flammable, Treff says it will be used in a controlled environment. According to the NIH and chemical company, while it is flammable, it's used in everyday products like paint and ink. The NIH adds hydrofluoric acid can be found in car wash products and something maybe under your sink, rust stain remover. So yes, they can be dangerous. However, these chemicals are in everyday products. This flyer has been circulating depicting Silfab Solar with a 70-foot smokestack and billowing smoke. So residents ask, will it look like this? Treff says no. We have a filtration process for the air leaving this building. Treff took us on a tour saying a wet scrubber, a big filter, will start inside and barely be visible from the roof. He says it will be where we are standing right now. The APA says there will be an exhaust that comes out of the top, but it's essentially water vapor. So we can answer, no, there will not be a smokestack with billowing clouds of smoke. So again, Treff also says production will not start until the end of 2024, and they do have finished solar panels inside right now. So if residents in that area, if they do see some trucks moving in and out, it's not with the chemicals. It's just transporting those already finished panels that were at a different facility. Uh, he says the most likely the one in Washington. So still a lot of information that we are learning and continuing to bring you, and we will update you if we do learn more on this story. Vanessa. All right, interesting stuff. Austin, thanks for getting to the bottom of some of those questions. Don't forget, folks, our Verify team is here to debunk misinformation and bring you the facts so you're not sharing false information or misinformed. You can email us any questions to verify at WCNC.com.